I began this journey as Teacher of the Year with one thing in mind. I believe in education. Education can change lives as it certainly has changed mine. Education saved my life and shaped my future in ways that would not have existed for me if not for the teachers and leaders in the schools I attended. And knowing how much education did for me leads my passion for teaching and sharing the world with my students, helping them believe that they can rise above their circumstances and that life is good. We're in orchestra rehearsal and the conductor will go, okay, woodwinds, I need you to play that softer. And a couple of us won't even play. We'll just look like we're playing. We're just kind of like blowing. And he'll go, perfect. <laughs> and so sometimes you, sometimes you have to play so soft on this set. I teach band. And what I love is that in a single band class, we can experience individual skill learning and practice, group and team building, world history, current events, math, physics, language, it's all in there. But more than all of these things is teaching my students that knowledge is truly power. It is my greatest hope that they will become lifelong learners and use the knowledge they gain to shape their lives in a meaningful way. Can you start loud and then just let the air barely, barely run through the horn like your airplane? So play, play like a low E, as loud as you can. Okay. She knows how to break down instruction, feedback, what the students need to know right now to get better at what they're doing. Um, and so her keen eye for that, I think, sets her apart from many other educators. She, she understands the why and how of her craft. Secondly, I think just, and, and everybody said, you know, good teachers have good interpersonal skills, and you know, when we ask who's your favorite teacher, you think, oh, the one that I like the most, because you got along with them. But I really strongly believe that Christine's disposition for caring for other people, whether it's her students, student teachers, other colleagues, the way that which I've seen her interact with all of those parties sets her apart. She really truly is out to make each of those stakeholders better at what they do, whether it's learning music, learning how to teach music, or maybe not even music at all, and it's another colleague in another area. You know, one of the great things about Christine, this complex act that we are you know, that we call teaching, really when you boil it down, it's about how do you get information into students. Once you get the information in, how do you help them organize it so that it makes sense? And then the final piece of it is, in really deep learning, is how do you help them to make it relevant, meaningful to them? And Christine is awesome at that. She's a really great teacher. She's lots of fun to, like, be around, but she also I would like to say that she explains things like very well and like she will always like help you if you need anything and some other teachers don't really like take the time to acknowledge each individual student um, and I think she really shows that really well how she can really go and interact with each person and know like what they need and how they are. Yep, Let's see, very good. Okay, now show me those fingers. So D is no pinkies, good. C is one E. I play clarinet and D. I perform locally. I am a member of the Oklahoma City Community Orchestra. Playing my clarinet is a great way to keep my love of music alive and I love sharing it with my students. It feels like Christmas morning when I take my students to listen to the Oklahoma City Philharmonic or when I point out how the floor vibrates when we play a certain chord. The first time they ever heard and felt the power of a real pipe organ or how their eyes widen when they see my score to the Nutcracker Ballet is awesome. I feel it is essential that I stay active in my field, not only to bring my students the most current information, but also to model the habits of being a lifelong learner. Softer reads, if you're playing on a reed that's kind of an older three that's kind of softer, it's going to make that go really flat. So you have to make sure you're playing on quality reeds before you play that upper octave. So be picky about your reeds. If you guys are playing lower F sharp, so trumpets play with this. If you're playing lower F sharp, trumpets playing lower F sharp. Ready, set, and The work go. I have done with CASA as a court-appointed special advocate has filled me with great joy and fulfillment. Just as our schools need the support of volunteers, the juvenile court system and DHS need our support as well. I wanted to reach out and help fill the gap for children in the foster care system in Oklahoma County. My work has reminded me of the real struggles that my own students may have and the needs that exist. The students caught in the county system don't always have someone to pop in on the teacher when they're struggling in math or someone to speak up for them when they need new classes. These precious children deserve wellness and education as much, if not more, than any other child. 
Christine Miller is probably one of the most compassionate people I have ever met in my life, both for me whenever I was in teaching and going through my struggles and watching her students go through struggles at home and at school and just the way that she handles the situations not only uplifts the students but also gives them motivation um, to move forward and just keep going and keep reaching and keep, keep going and eventually you'll make it and I think that is something a true testament to a teacher. It's just a little bit better than what you have. But After watching some of my best student teachers quit the profession or leave the state, I decided I needed to get involved on a larger scale. I teamed up with two great music education leaders in our state, Dr. Mike Reiber and Dr. Chris Bumgardner, to start a Young Music Teacher Mentorship Program. I am so excited the program has begun, and we will premiere the full system this fall. It is my hope that through this program, we can entice quality mentor teachers to get involved and support the youngest in our profession to keep them in our state. Her message of uh, you know keeping teachers here in Oklahoma. I mean, we all know we didn't go into this for the fabulous hours, the great pay, and the super working conditions. Uh, we went into it because we love kids. We went into it because we love what uh, what impact uh, we can have on our futures. Christine communicates that message very, very clearly, and so I think that's going to be a very powerful moment to to be able to put that out there. It will be it will be hard for anybody to listen to her and not. Um, feel the impact of her thoughts and feel the impact of uh, that desire to really make a difference in Oklahoma education. We all know about the struggles with education funding and teacher shortages, but what we have to remember is that while we all wrestle with these issues, the students will still be lining up at the school doors this year. Some students may be right on the edge of falling through the cracks just as I was, but we must be there to meet them. We can't give up. My message is for all of us in Oklahoma, but especially the teachers, don't give up. The musician that I am today is, I think, because of Miss Miller and how much she's helped me and how much she's believed in me and how much she's just done those little things that help me out and make me better. We have to find it in ourselves to keep pushing on, be creative, and provide a free and equal education for every student that is in our state. Whether you are a parent, student, teacher, administrator, legislator, community member, we all have something to give. What do we do to not kick the end of the note? What do you have to do physically? What, what do you have to do, Tyler? Oh, you have to like kind of decrescendo with your air and freeze uh -huh. your face at the end of the note. And freeze your face. Yes, what else? Yes, right. Yeah, don't stop with your tongue. You have to make it takes only one musician to play ever so slightly out of tune or out of time to set a musical moment totally askew. I teach and train my students to be mindful that what they do as an individual will often affect the entire group and that they should carry that mindfulness forward into their daily lives. And in that same way, I believe we can all use our skills and knowledge to come together and truly support and improve our school systems. We all have something to give to education in Oklahoma. Please don't give up. We can do this. We have to. And she's one of the most selfless people I've met. And that's hard to find. <laughs> like a lot of us has many irons in the fire, but they all seem to be for someone else. For her students, for our profession, for uh, the students, the children that she works with just in public service. Um, Christine is not about Christine. Christine is about her constituents, which are usually students of various ages and levels. And so I think that's what draws me to want to work with her all the time and makes me a better teacher educator as well. The saying about that uh, it takes a village to raise a child. And, uh, and the real key thing about Christine Miller is that she's able to build a village that kids really want to live in. Ms. Miller is like the best. I love her, like she's more than a teacher to me. Even if you don't know her, you like her. Like she's that kind of person that like, you may not have her as a teacher or you may not know her at all, but I think you just like her. I think she's just a likable person and she's a really great teacher that she deserves this. I think that she really deserves this whole opportunity that she's getting.